Today, we back with another video. I was supposed to Ben react to this, but time we recording this, it is December 19th. Let me make sure I'm saying that because when I react to the Bleach reports, that was well before the season. I was getting killed for my takes on it. Now, um, this is supposed to be predictions, so that's why I kind of did take a little bit longer to do so. Uh, at the top of the screen, you are seeing the scores of the games that's going on right now. Uh, Jaws' first game back is a tie game. Wish I could be watching that, but you know I'm streaming and making videos for you guys. But today, we're going to be reacting to the ESPN 100. Um, this is going to be 100 NBA players based off the 2023-2024 NBA season. So, this is going to be 100 players ranked. I'm going to be giving my uh, opinions on a couple of things. I will be doing a tier list of every single NBA player soon. That uh, should be dropping before the end of the year. Um, it is the 19th, though, today, so I don't know. But that, that will be coming soon, so just stay tuned for that. But, yeah, if you do want more videos like this, just like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so we got 100 players. This one is going to have 151. We got tabs for the rest. Uh, let's just hop into it. So, let's see. Okay, I already see who's at number one. Okay, let's see. NBA rank. Which stars made Mr. Cut? Which Rickies are... I thought this was going to say, these dudes missed the cut. Okay, so Mitchell Robinson is first. He was 98 last year. I mean, elite offensive rebounder, a cool shot blocker, really efficient player, but not really that great at catching the ball. But let's keep it moving. Jonas Valanciunas. This seems a little low for Jonas Valanciunas. I ain't going to lie. Colin Sexton at 98. I'm not too mad at that. I ain't going to lie. I'm not, I'm not too mad at that. I give you some, I give you some, I give you some. I ain't giving you a hundred though. That's kind of crazy. But uh Colin 1698. Um Grant Williams at 97. This definitely should be way higher. This definitely should be way higher. His versatility on defense, shooting ability. But let's see. Harrison Barnes or Grant Williams. I'm taking I'm taking Grant. So Grant is gonna be Grant and Valentine is gonna be the benchmark. I'm taking both of those guys over Harrison Barnes. Okay, Jalen Williams. I'm taking Jalen Williams over both. I'm taking Jalen Williams over both. Russell Wilson. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this is interesting. I ain't gonna lie, I'm thinking Grant Williams over Russell Westbrook, but... Grant, or Russell Westbrook or Jalen Williams? I'm probably gonna take Jalen Williams. Younger, you know what I'm saying? But I'll probably take Russell Westbrook over Valentunas. But this seems low for all of those guys. Maybe it's not, because Mike Conley... I, I think he's a, he's a, he's a, I say he's more around like the 75-ish. Man, okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's just a lot of good players. Manuel Quickly or Josh Hart. I feel like Josh Hart is more valuable to, to a team, but Emmanuel Quickly is better. I don't really know how to explain it. But I'm not too mad at that. John Collins, fuck no. Hell no. John Collins may not be better than anybody we've seen so far. Yeah, John Collins is not better than a single player we've seen so far. I don't know what's going on with this one. I I I don't know what's going on with this one. Apparently, Ja just hit a game winner in his first game back after a 25 game suspension. Shout out to Ja. Just put the guns down, sir. Robert Williams. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but this is a crazy picture, man. That looks like a straight nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Kevin Looney. Okay, like yeah, I'm not. Looney had a great series against the um. The Kings, but I ain't gonna lie. People don't really like to talk about Looney against the, the Lakers. Wasn't crazy. This year he hasn't been crazy. So I think that's a, a, you know what I'm saying? But he did hoop against the Kings. For surely did hoop. Um, but yeah, I'm not taking Kevin Looney over Robert Williams. These very, I'm not gonna lie. These are, I, I really would it'd be interested to see how these were even remotely ranked. Like this isn't making too much sense. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill is a guy that just gives you really shooting. Besides shooting, what else does he give you? Kyle Kuzma seems extremely low. 86? 85 players in the NBA better than Kyle Kuzma. I think it would be tough to say 60 players better than Kyle Kuzma. Okay. And Freddie Simons, I'm not too mad at that ranking. I think he should be higher, but I'm not too mad at it. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's just a lot of people that I'm, I'm tripping on. Tobias Harris is for sure not 50 players better than Tobias Harris. I have a tough time thinking that it's 50 players better than Tobias Harris. He's He's been really solid this year, in my opinion. He's been really solid this year. Um, Cameron Johnson. Okay. 
dang, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really too mad at these this group of players. I think Kuzma probably the best of these players, either him or Tobias Harris. But I'm not too mad at it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too mad at these. I ain't gonna lie. Not too mad at these. Hero is not 79, but I mean, he a Heat player. He gonna be underrated. I don't know how he failed though. That makes no sense. How did he go from 70? How he go from 61 last year to 79 this year? Why would Portland, the date with Portland be marked on our date? That's a terrible team. It should be the Bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they talk. Scoot Henderson? Fuck no. I ain't lying though. Scoot the past couple weeks, or not weeks, but past week, I would say, has been a lot better. He's been a lot better, I would say. You know what I'm saying? He's been a lot better. Jordan Clarkson, hell, like, bro, Jordan Clarkson is not better than Hero. He's not better than Jalen Green. Jordan Clarkson not better than Tobias Harris. He's not better than Anthony Simon. He's not better than Kyle Kuzma. But I like Jordan Clarkson. That's probably the right ranking for Jordan Clarkson. 77, probably the right ranking. He's just not better than those guys. Chris Paul is not better than any of the guys that's below him that we just went through. He may be better than Jordan Clarkson. He's better than Scoot. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the hell Scoot been on for the majority of the year. He's just been a bad player. But for the past week, I ain't gonna lie. He's turning it around. I will say that. Since he came back from the G League stint, he's turning it around. Vucevic, that seems a little low for Vooch. I ain't gonna lie. K, I think that's definitely a little low, but I can't really give K too much credit. He did just go crazy yesterday, but, I mean, your team has lost 25 straight games. Uh, it's like, Chet is definitely significantly too low. Jordan Paul, Jordan Poole is way too high. I was a guy that was saying Jordan Poole should be hooping this year. He's not hooping this year. <laughs> he's, he's starting to tee up the pass like two or three games, but nah, bro, that's not it. The Wizards... Not really it. It's not really it. The only bright spots on the Wizards to me personally, maybe Tyus Jones, but he's kind of even let me down a little bit. But uh, really, it's been only Denny and Kuzma, in my opinion. R.J. Barrett. Uh, that's probably about the right spot for R.J. Barrett. I ain't going to lie. Walker Kessler. I don't know, man. I don't know if Walker Kessler over a lot of these guys. He's definitely not better than Chet. He's like, he's just not remotely better. Brooke Lopez, that seems way too low. 69. MPJ, I'm not too mad at that spot for MPJ. OG Ananobi, I'm not going to lie. OG Ananobi is kind of, I'm not going to lie. OG Ananobi is kind of becoming one of the more overrated players in the league. But I still feel 67 is still too low. I, I will say I do think he's becoming one of the more overrated players in the league, though. I won't cap. <clears throat> Austin Reeves. That may be a, I'm not going to lie, 66 all the way to like 80 may be a really good range for uh, Austin Reeves, but he's not better than OG Ananobi. That's one player he's not better than. He's not better, he's not remotely better than Brooke Lopez. He's not better than RJ Barrett. He's not, no way in hell he better than Chet Holmgren. He's not better than Kay Cunningham. He's not better than Vucevic. He's not better, Jordan Clarkson or uh, Austin Reeves, that's a toss up. I ain't going to lie. That's actually a toss up. He, he probably is better than Scoot. He's not better than the Hero. He's not better than Jalen Green. He's not better than Bobby Portis. He's not better than Cameron Johnson. He's not better than Tobias Harris. Uh, Clint Capella. And Freddie Simons, he's not better than. Kyle Kuzma, he's not better than. Uh, buddy, he may be better than Buddy Hill. I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie. They, I, they, bro, that Lakers gas. You go If you're on the Lakers, you're gonna get gas. If you're on the Heat, you're gonna get just lowered. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Miles Turner. Um. Uh, he's not better than Brooke Lopez or Chet. I, it's kind of funny to me that people have been trying to say that Miles Turner's been getting killed in the past week uh, because the big's been going crazy on them. But Miles Turner has never been a defensive guy. Y'all just looked at the blocks and thought he was a good defender. He's not a good defender. He's never been a good defender. It just is what it is. He gets blocked. He, he's a block hunter. That's what he's always done. If you've seen me ever talk about Miles Turner before, I've said this for years. Every single time a tier list comes up with Miles Turner weak ass, I always say the same shit. But I ain't gonna lie. I would love to have a guy like Miles Turner because he's gonna stretch the floor and get you blocks. But in terms of a good defender, he's just never really been that. But he does add value as a rim protector, which is not really that good because of, like, it's kind of swayed. People think he's a better rim protector than what he is because he gets a lot of blocks. But he's not like a... He's not like a Brooke Lopez level rim protector by no means. 
And I don't know how the hell he even got ranked over him. Rudy Gobert, I ain't gonna lie, Rudy Gobert, if I had to do DPOY, I'm a big Bam guy. I'm a big AD guy. Not as much as I am with Bam. Hey, Rudy Gobert, you got that joint. I ain't gonna lie. You, what you did to the Heat the other day, I, hey, hats off to you, bro. You was hooping. You was hooping on defense. I give you that. I can't lie. Uh, Scotty Barnes. I think Scotty Barnes, he's been hooping this year. I think that may be a little low. Porzingis, it may not be a bad spot for Porzingis this year because um, he he's in that he's in a he's in a really weird role to be honest. I can't on some nights I can't tell if he's the he's the third option or the fifth option. Like some nights it feels like uh, you got Jason Tatum that's the first option always. JB's gonna be the second option always. I was I thought it was gonna be really Porzingis and JB switching, but it really feels like Porzingis. Derek White and Drew Holiday switch between who's going to be the third guy, fourth guy, and fifth guy. That's really what it feels like to me. And it really feels like um, the only way that they can consistently figure out who's going to be what is when people are injured. Because then, like, maybe Jay Holiday don't play. Maybe Porzingis don't play. You know what I'm saying? Maybe White don't play. And the other two guys play. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Desmond Bain. I think he's been hoping, but I think when Jock come back, he's going to be even better probably. Ain't going to lie, because he's not going to have his PG. Marcus Mar over Desmond Bain. What the hell is going on? What the... Bro, I see, like, y'all be overrating some of these guys. The fact this nigga has a DPOY is a damn crime. That's like... It's like that's like an all-time NBA federal crime. I'm not going to lie. The fact that this nigga really has an MVP and niggas was thinking that they upgraded from, De from um Dylan Brooks to Marcus Smart. The nigga's nowhere near the defender that Dylan Brooks is. And I ain't even gonna lie, at this point, is, is Dylan Brooks a better scorer? I ain't gonna lie. People used to clown Dylan Brooks for this terrible shot selection, but it's looking it's looking crazy right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking crazy right now. DeJounte Murray is definitely better than Marcus Smart, by the way. Uh, Jeremy Grant. Zion at 57? Alright, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Zion has not lived up to my expectations this year at all. But Zion at 57 might be the wildest shit I've ever seen. There's no way in hell there's 56 players better than Zion Williamson. There's literally no way. There's no way, bro. There's absolutely no way. There is absolutely no way Fred Van Vliet is better than Zion Wilson. I ain't gonna lie. Fred Van Vliet signing was horrible, but he's been looking pretty solid for the Rockets. I ain't gonna lie. He looking solid. He looking like he fitting like a glove, boy. He, hey, I would say I would want him to get off the ball a little bit more, but he looking solid for that team. He been, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be bad. Draymond Green has not been it, whether it be... Uh, his playing or his antics, you know what I'm saying? He's just not been it this year. Andrew Wiggins, another guy that has not been it, man. Andrew Wiggins has had a tough year so far. Josh, man, this is a streak. That's a streak of guys right there, ain't it? That's a streak. We went from Zion at 57 to Draymond to Andrew Wiggins to Josh Giddy. What's going on? Hey, what's hey, this something y'all must know about ESPN. How y'all had these group of these guys grouped together? That's crazy. That's crazy. But hey, Franz, Franz Wagner, fifty-two. That's way too low. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon had a great year last year, especially playoff wise. Um, the thing is with Aaron Gordon though. Is he a top 51 player? And it's been a lot of people that's been above Aaron Gordon already. Like, or below. He, Aaron Gordon held. There's no way in hell this nigga's better than Franz Wagner. There's no way in hell this nigga's better than Zion Williamson. Jeremy Grant is debatable. I ain't gonna lie. Dre Desmond Bain. Porzingis is another debatable one. Scotty Barnes, I would say, is better. Rudy Gobert has definitely been better this year. A couple guys that's been on this list already that's better than uh, Aaron Gordon is the point. But I'm going to try not to scroll up too much. 
I'm gonna just keep it moving. All right, that's the end of it. Let's go to the next one. Number 50, Jared Allen. This nigga got to be the most overrated nigga in the league. For some reason, every single time I look at these, they had this nigga over some players that makes literally no sense. How is Jared Allen over Brooke Lopez in any way? Even if you saying to say for this year, what has Jared Allen done to be over Brooke Lopez? The nigga was so bad in the playoffs, he himself, out his own mouth, the lights were just too bright, I guess. Like, nigga, what? How is he over How is he over a lot of these sitters on this list? What has he done to be better than Rudy Gobert? I've never seen a player get overrated so much. It's either him or Evan Mobley. And I love Evan Mobley. I, I, like, I like his defense. I like Evan Mobley way more than I like uh, Jerry Allen. Jerry Allen, for years, for some reason, he just gets put on this pedestal like he's this guy. Like, bro... Don't give me no team stat about the Cavs. Like, he don't play with him and Evan Mobley. Hey, what the hell, bro? Nah, bro. DeAndre Ayton, 49. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Bro, mind you, Zion Williamson at 57. That's the most egregious one right now. LaMelo been hooping. He was hooping before he got injured. But 48 seems a little low. Victor. Victor and Chet should be around each other somewhere. I, Victor should obviously be a lot higher. But I'm not too mad at you ranking him this this low based off of, um, what is it? Based off of, you know what I'm saying, him being a rookie. Didn't see a lot of them in a real game yet. Chris, oh, I forgot about Chris Middleton. I spoke too damn soon. I don't know how many times I got to say this shit, but I'm going to drill this shit in you niggas' heads. This nigga, Chris Middleton, not only the ugliest nigga in the league, this nigga is the worst, most overrated. I don't know how he's getting this star. I don't know what. Bro, bro, Chris Middleton missed the whole season, came back significantly worse, was already overrated before he was injured. Before he was injured, he was already the most overrated nigga in the league. He came back significantly worse. Nigga's been saying for a year now, he's still he's still trying to get his minutes, still on minutes restriction. Nigga, he's been on a minutes restriction for a year. He's just not good anymore. And the thing that's really concerning me now, I don't even see Clay yet. And Zion was 457. And niggas tell me my list be bad. They got Chris Middleton and Jerry Allen as top 50 players in 2023. Oh, man. Bro, they finna fuck my voice up, bro. Julius Randle, 45. I'm not mad at it. She's McCollum, 44. He should be lower, but I'm not mad at it, bro. James Harden, 43. That may be even... That, that, that's, that may be disrespectful. I'm not even a James Harden guy. But 42 niggas better than James Harden. Now, I'm a, hey, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm a James Harden hater. I ain't gonna lie. I've been a James Harden hater for a long time. But I don't know. That's a little, that's a little bit much. It kind of, that shit, you hating so hard, that put a smile on my face. I, I ain't even gonna lie. That put a smile on my face. You made it for, oh, hey. But that's crazy. Hey, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. No, nah, this is sick. No, nah, this is sick. No, nah, this is sick. Niggas be telling me my list ass. Hold on, hold on. This, hold on. Was this list not made before the trade? Hey, whoever made this list, you had Maxi over Harden. That's crazy. Nah, nah, nah. Whoever made this list had Harden this low strictly so they could put Maxi over that nigga. Literally. Now, how Maxi went from forty to four last year to forty two is crazy because he obviously was better last year than he was the year before. I don't. I don't really know. He's made a jump every year. He's made a jump somewhat every single year. This year, he's making an even better jump. I think Maxi has played better than Harden this year. I won't lie. But, bro, you made this list. I guess we already knew Harden was trying to leave. Yeah, where is Harden going to play? We already knew Harden was going to leave. And he was going to take that role. As a second. So I guess I can understand that. Clay Thompson over. Okay. Like, nigga, I'm going to be honest. 
I don't know if y'all trying to make me sick again. I ain't gonna lie. I just recovered over my throat stuff. I'm gonna be honest. What's the, what? What's going on? What's up? What's up with this forty-one to fifty? This forty-one to fifty just egregious all over the place. You got Harden. I'm a hater on Harden. I hate. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I threw him in. I, I ain't even think Harden was overrated. You know what I'm saying? I just threw him in there because it's Harden. I ain't even gonna lie. If you watch that video, I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of capping on a couple of them. Like Bradley Bill, I ain't gonna lie. I just threw you in there. I ain't gonna lie. So if you, hey, I doubt, you know what I'm saying? I just threw you in there. You know what I'm saying? I just threw bro in there. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I just threw Bradley Bill, Zach Levine, Harden in there. I really just wanted to get that off on Donovan Mitchell and Giannis. I ain't gonna cap. I really could just had two niggas. But I was like, I had, I gotta get, I just gotta get niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what's going on with this. This 41 through 50 might be the sickest shit I ever seen in my life. Nigga Clay been so bad this year. This nigga can't even shoot no more. He ain't even been shooting no more. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie. He did have a couple uh, decent games recently. But hey! I ain't gonna lie. If I was going into this year from last year, I was like, hey, Clay did hit like 300 threes last year. He was shooting that bit. But in the playoffs, he ain't do nothing. He did nothing the entire playoffs. He did nothing. You had Looney high on this list because of what he did in the playoffs. You didn't really care about the bad things that Looney had in the playoffs. The foul trouble he was in the playoffs when he played the Lakers. When it came to Clay, you didn't really care about the playoffs. You just put him up here. This has to be off name value. But if it's off name value for Clay damn Thompson, when has Clay Thompson in his life been better than James Harden? When has this ever been better than James Harden? Now nah, this 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 entire this is just this is the fuckery row right here. You got even Julius Randle in this row. Like this is perfect. This is fuckery row. Yeah, every person old, every person in this one, it just ranked uh, nowhere near where they need to be at. Aiden should be lower. Allen should be lower. Lamella should be higher. Victor should be higher. Chris Middleton shouldn't even be on the damn list. I don't know what the hell going on with Chris Middleton. All right, let me, all right, I'm finna lose my, all right, let me just keep moving. I'll be at this point all day. Let's just keep moving. Evan Moe. <laughs> Bro. Oh, another one. I ain't even gonna lie. I like Evan Mobley because he a defensive guy. I'm a defensive guy. But I ain't gonna lie. I had high expectations for Evan Mobley after Ricky year. I liked him when he was coming into the league. Ricky, he was way better than I expected him to be, especially in terms of defense already. Coming to this year, he was talking about he was watching a lot of BAM films, so he's gonna be to get better defensively. I'm like, and niggas be saying. Evan Mobley better defensively than Bam. You know what I'm saying? Because he came in second place to the DPOY in his second year. Niggas are telling me Bam got to do more to get in the defensive player of the year. This nigga was in the second year DPOY second place. I'm looking at Marcus Smart win DPOYs. Jaron Jackson, DPOY. But nah, Evan Mobley, I'm not even too mad at him defensively, but it's the offense. Like, he's not... He's not putting it together. Now, I will say, I've said this time and time again, that team is just a much different team when Donovan Mitchell is not there. He does, he, Devin Mobley especially looks a lot better offensively. I won't lie. Uh, especially, but Darius Garland, when he's running the show, it just looks better. It does. But Donovan Mitchell can't play off the ball. That's just kind of what it is. DeMar DeRozan, 39. I'm not too mad at it. He may he may be in the right spot. He may should be higher, but I'm not too mad at 39. Zach Levine. I can't give Zach Levine over DeMar DeRozan, even though I think he is better, but he's not. Yeah. Okay. Like this. Like, okay. So we just doing, we just throwing niggas. We just throwing niggas on the list. I'm just going to keep it moving. There's Garland. Okay. John Morant, 35. Okay. What the fuck is going? I ain't going to lie. Nah, bro. What's going on with this list? Nah, this can't be a real list. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Why I ain't hear more about this list? Bro, this list is horrible. This kid, like, bro, how did they make this list? Like, nah. How did they make this list? I'm not even a big guy for Ja. But 35? Who made this list? Nah, bro. Put every uh or every writer. You need to credit every single person that would had a hand in this list, uh, ESPN, because this is egregious. This is terrible. Like, bro, like, there's no way they're watching any games, bro. Like, what? And he just played his first game today. 
But we just talking about the basketball player, aren't we? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Kyrie, 34. Kyrie probably should be even higher. But he ain't been that crazy to me either this year. Like, the, the Mavericks have been pretty solid, but they need Kyrie more out of Kyrie. Guys that's been stepping up, uh, the Jalen Greens, I think that's the bro name. Josh Greens. It's Josh Green, um, Grant Williams, Tim Hardaway Jr. have been playing pretty solid. To be honest, they kind of need a little bit more out of Kyrie. Luka's been playing out of body. And I ain't going to lie, Luka actually been playing some good defense. Not good, but, like, way better than last year. That's what I'll say. Way better than last year. Mikael Bridges, 33. I remember the I remember the Mikael Bridges gas. I remember I was on the opposite side of that trying to calm people down. But yeah, I remember the Mikael Bridges gas. Jalen Bronson. I ain't gonna lie. I was part of the Jalen Bronson gas. I still think Jalen Bronson um should be the number one star on the Knicks. The Knicks don't really see that as that. They have like a one A, one B situation. He needs to be the number one. Julius Randle needs to be the number two. Kind of like what the Celtics got, where Tatum is the clear cut number one and JB is the clear cut number two. That's how it should be with the Knicks. I think the Celtics, honestly, will be better if they had a 1A, 1B type of deal. Personally, I've said this forever. Because neither one of them are great playmakers. I think Tatum is a better playmaker, obviously. But Tatum has the inconsistency issues scoring-wise. Tatum is a far better player, so I don't want people to be confused on that one. Because I know people will be like, bro, you just know where you're serious. Shut the hell up. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. Jaren Jackson, 31. Okay, that's not a bad spot for bro. I ain't gonna lie. Payalo, 30. I'm not mad at it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not mad at it. That's a little high. Not mad at it. Trey Young, that's around his spot. Lori. I be underrating Lori, so I'm not I'm not gonna I ain't got too much to say about Lori. Lori is a really efficient guy. Lori is a really efficient guy. BI, BI and Zion. I don't know what it is. But people really want to separate the gap between B.I. and Zion. I personally think Zion um, can be better. He should be better. But B.I. has been better this year. He has been better this year. So I'm not mad at it. I'm a big B.I. guy too. So it, I'm not really chipping on it. Um, I think B.I. is definitely one of the more underrated guys in the league. But yeah, Drew Holiday 26. Get the, like, bro, what is going on? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Drew Holiday 26. He's in the 30s range. But 26, he's not better than Brandon Ingram, Laurie Markinen. Trey Young's debatable, ain't gonna lie. Payal is debatable. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too mad at it. But it's a couple of these in 30s that he's just not better than. Like Jalen Bronson, Kyrie, Ja. Like, all right, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's a lot of these that he's just not better than. I think we're getting close to the end of this. Last one, Pascal Siakam, top 25 player. I'm not too mad at that. We're not too mad at that. Oh, we got 24. Okay. Kawhi Leonard, 24. Okay. Wait. What? I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. Kawhi Leonard, 24. I will say Kawhi had a really weird start to the year. I'm not really a big trade guy, though. So, trade being lower than Drew, I'm not too mad at it. Like... I always say, if y'all have ever heard me talk about Trey, Halley, and Darius Garland, I would much rather the play styles of Darius Garland and Halley. I've always been pushing that that those two need, they just need the, the, the opportunity. I feel like Darius Garland is more like in a situation where like Halley was with the Kings, where if the Kings would have kept Halley and got this new coach and had this system that they have right now, I think that would have worked. But the system that the Cavs have right now, offensively, with Donovan Mitchell not being able to really play off the ball, where Fox could play off the ball, I feel like that's it's not really working for D, DG for real. But um, I would personally rather those two over them. So, and I'm not too mad at somebody saying Drew Holiday's better than Darius Garland. I just wouldn't do it. I'm not really taking Darius. I'm not taking Drew Holiday over Trey, but I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. I'm not mad at it. I don't really care about what people, what people average. And it depends on what the person is. Because I kind of understand what it is. Like, Trey's just not a really efficient guy at all. And it's, when it comes to, like, in a playoff scenario, it's easy to limit him. But at the same time, Drew Holiday's not a go-to guy, so it's kind of easier. Trey just expected to do more. So it's kind of like, you got ex different expectations for both players. That's why I'm not mad at either or, personally. I'm a defensive guy, so I'm not too mad at it in general. De'Aaron Fox. I haven't seen Tyrese Halliburton. They predicted Tyrese to be this high. I don't think I've seen Halley yet. 
Damn, hey, ESPN kind of got one right. They got one that you throw some shit at the damn wall. You're going to get some right, I guess. Throw some shit at the wall. Shit, something may stick. Shit. All right, Darren Fox. Sabonis is not. <laughs> hey, bro, Sabonis is not better than Darren Fox, bro. Sabonis, hey, Sabonis is another one of those guys that's overrated. But I like Sabonis. I ain't gonna lie. I've always liked Sabonis. Ever since he was like a, a Ricky with OKC, I like Sabonis. I'm not gonna lie. But he's just kind of become overrated. Now, the great debate between Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox. Kawhi and Leonard, honestly, is over all these guys. But you got the health concern, but Kawhi's played every game this year. Kawhi's turning it up right now. He is turning it up right now. I'm sorry. He is. Kawhi Leonard is turning it up right now. He's been playing out his mind the past, really, two weeks, for real. Um... But for the most part, he's kind of been letting me down a little bit. But at the end of the day, he's still Kawhi Leonard. When he's healthy, he's a top 10 player. Um, Tyrese Halliburton or De'Aaron Fox, that's a tough one because I think Reese is not a good defender at all. Uh, that's why I kind of group Reese, DG, and Trey in together because they're all bad defenders. Trey's tried harder since like halfway of the season last year, but he's still a horrible defender. Like It's just nothing he can do about being... 5'10 with small arms. There's nothing he can do. At least Reese is 6'5. You know what I'm saying? Not badly athletic. Reese is just not a good defender at all, though. Like, regardless of the fact. Uh, DG is another guy that's small, so it's just tough on him. Um, I mean, Sabonis haven't. But again, I just said, I don't really care about certain triple doubles because I understand, like, it's just different. Like, it's just different. It depending, like, if you know how people play, it's just not, the stats not going to move you too crazy. Like, Luka getting, averaging a 30-point triple-double damn near is not really surprising to me at all. It's just because that's Luka. But, like, I wouldn't say Luka is, uh, like, I wouldn't compare Luka and Sabonis ever in my life. Like, it's just difference. Like, that's Luka. That's Sabonis. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are saying Sabonis is going to be, like, the next, uh, uh, Jokic was crazy. Now, this is a dude that's been hooping. I ain't gonna lie. Tons of towns. Um, I think a lot of stuff that he, uh, the past couple years with him struggling was, uh, he, he had been dealing with a lot with his mom. I, I can understand that for sure. Uh, the death of his mom. I can definitely understand that. He had something else that was a pretty big deal in his life too that happened, but I don't remember. But uh, Towns been hooping this year. Towns been hooping this year. He's been a great rebounder per usual. What What's new? But as a scorer, I think Towns have been pretty solid this year. I think Towns... I think Towns have been better than uh, Sabonis. I think coming into the year, I would have said Sabonis was better than Towns. But Towns have been hooping this year. Towns is still not it defensively to me. But Towns has been hooping this year. I'll give Towns that. He's definitely been hooping. He's been one of the premier bigs in the league this year for sure. I still don't think he's better than another guy that's going to be on this list. <laughs> that y'all not going to like being over him. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? Shit, hey, shit is what it is, gang. I'm sorry. Uh, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown hasn't been better than Towns. or De- Jalen Brown is not better than Tyrese. He's not better than Fox. He's not better than Kawhi. <laughs> He's not better. I Pascal Siakam and JB, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping on that. He's not better than Brandon Ingram. JB or Lori, that's around where the area he should be. I think that's around the area he should be. <clears throat> I think at one point he was underrated. I think he. this list is kind of overrating him a little bit. Paul George is not the best player on the Clippers. I don't know who needs to hear that. That team goes as far as Kawhi takes them. Kind of what it is. Sorry to tell you that. But, yeah. Jamal Murray, obviously overrated. He shouldn't be this high. But this is what a, this is what a ring does, guys. This is what a ring does. A ring gets you, uh, as Aaron Gordon, placed over uh, Zion Williamson. Jamal Murray. A ring gets you placed over... Uh, Place in a place that you really don't belong, but I'm not gonna lie. Jamal Murray is a he's a great player. He's a great player for sure. Like he can score at all three levels. Truly, he can truly score at all three levels. He's a solid defender, so that's not an issue. And he's a a, a decent playmaker. He's not he's not like a Reese. He's not even like a he's like a him and Fox around the same level of playmaker. I would say Fox is a far better playmaker because he can his ability to get to the rim is just so much better, and he can actually deal with a double team a lot better than uh Jamal Murray. But, hey, Jamal Murray plays with Jokic. So, it's going to look a little bit different in the light. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look a little different. Bam, top 16? ESPN, hold on. Let him cook. 
Let them cook. I ain't gonna lie. Let them cook. Let them cook. Let them cook. I ain't gonna lie. The, the Bam out of bio, most versatile defender in the league. If you don't agree with that, you don't watch everybody. You just watch who you're saying. I'm sorry. I, uh, just say what it is. He's the most versatile defender in the league. Is he the best defender? I think that really depends on what your preference is. That's what I'm starting to learn because I ain't gonna lie. Rudy Gobert paint protection this year has been ridiculous. Andy Davis paint protection in the playoffs last year was ridiculous. The thing is, when you get put in these other situations, I was I was looking at Rudy Gobert, even in that game where he played a great game, when he got switched on to guys like Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero was killing him. It was killing him. But I'm not going to lie, as a seven-foot big, you're not supposed to be able to guard. As a center, you're not really supposed to be able to guard guards. But that's what makes Bam so special. He can literally lock down everybody. It doesn't really matter. Only people he really can't lock down is Jokic. But who can? And Luka. But who can, nigga? Like, who can? <clears throat> Donovan Mitchell. I'm not mad at that. Donovan Mitchell. He's, Donovan Mitchell better than everybody we've seen so far. Besides Kawhi, maybe. Besides Kawhi, maybe. Uh, you could argue Tyrese and D. Fox, too. I think you could argue those two guys. But... Hey, shout out to Hallie, though. Hallie done made some jumps. I think Fox made the biggest jump last year in terms of the conversations he was in. Shout out to Hallie. Hallie has actually become, he's gotten to the conversations with guys like Donovan Mitchell. Shout out to Hallie, man. I ain't gonna lie. He's, he's, he's really done that. Damian Lillard. Now, Damian Lillard, I don't think this is a bad ranking for Damian Lillard at all because um, it's going to be an adjustment period when you're playing with a guy that has no ability to play off the ball. He only can play one way. He only can play one way. I'm not going to say no names. I'm not going to say no names. But, hey, if you thought Damian Lillard was going to come on this team and be a good defender, I don't know what to tell you, dumbass. But um, that's just not reality. Um, Anthony Edwards, 13. Now, I will be honest. After what I seen this nigga do to my team last night, I'm not mad at it. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if I was watching Dwayne Wade or Anthony Edwards, my nigga. This nigga was doing all type of bullshit. I seen a nigga punch a nigga dead to the balls, throw another nigga off, Pick up the ball, shoot that bitch, buzzer beater for a quarter, two point. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I can't really even say the nigga overrated. He doing bullshit like that, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie. But um, Ant or D Mitch, I may take Ant because Ant is a far better defender. Like, it's not close. Ant or Fox, I think that's a real conversation, but I'm gonna take Ant there. Ant or Paul George, I'm going to take Ant. Ant or JB, I'm going to take Ant. Ant and Towns is a conversation, but I think Ant is better. Ant or Halliburton. Halliburton is giving you so much more offensively. Ant is giving you so much more defensively. I think offense is definitely more important. But I think Ant is still a great scorer. That's a tough one. I think, I think, I think most people probably would say... Holly, but I'm going to say an ant because I, like, I value the defense. The real only real one that I think is like should be higher, Kawhi, but I'm not mad at it. Ant has been better than him this year. He's been better than him this year, so I'm not mad at that. He's definitely been better than him. Jimmy, 12. I'm not really surprised by this. He, he had a pretty solid playoffs. I think after the first round when he got hurt, it was tough for him, but he did get injured, so I'm not really too mad at it. As a Heat fan, I wish we could have got that ring. Um, the Heat, honestly, are so much better than last year. Um, Jimmy has not looked good at all this year. Um, I can never say Jimmy is ass again, though. Like, he's just done too much in the playoffs at this point. But I get the Jimmy regular season stuff, but, like, if you watch Jimmy, like, he don't look like the same player, like, remotely. Even when he's trolling, he don't look like the same guy trolling. And I was, I watched the whole game when they nigga hit the game winner. Yes, I love those. You know what I'm saying? That was a great moment. But Jimmy does not, I don't know what it is, defensively, He's still a good free safety, but even when he's in the lanes, it's not the same. When he's guarding certain people, they're blowing by him. When he's on offense, he can't blow by people. He only he has to he only way he can really get to the rim is through backing people down. And then his ability, uh, his touch at the rim, it has not been there this year. Jimmy has not really been that crazy this year. I'm not gonna lie. Like at, at a certain point, there's troll Jimmy, but I don't know. Jimmy has not looked. Even when he's trolled Jimmy, it's literally like he's not, he don't care. Right now, he's just like, he's, he's, he doesn't care. But it's like some, it's like, it's like some, some ass mixed in between. Cause like, it's like 
the thing about him not caring was that fact that he wouldn't even want the ball in certain situations. Now it's like he'll he'll get the ball because Spo gonna make his ass get the ball. It's Spo like he's too good of a coach. He's not gonna let you not get the ball. But like it's like this nigga just ass. Like it's I can't say he ass though. You know what I'm saying? Because he's done too much. He's done too much. But like the nigga just would do some weak shit. Like like he'll go up with a layup, smoky. You know what I'm saying? He'll back a nigga down, can't back him down. He'll catch the ball over two niggas, shoot a three pointer instantly, full shot clock there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like it's just some questionable shit going on with that nigga uh, Jimmy right now. And it's really kind of scaring me because, like, I'm used to these regular season antics. But this ain't looking like the same regular season antics. That's really what I'm trying to say. D-Book, too low. Too low. Too low for D-Book. Too low. Um, too low. Just too low. Just too low. Okay. Let's get. Let's keep it moving to the next. All right, we on the last one. We on the last one. Andy Davis, top 10. I personally think Bam has been better than the, uh, AD this year. But I will say AD, the past two weeks, AD's been looking more like AD. like Just like with Kawhi. Kawhi's been looking more like a Kawhi. So I would take both of those guys. I think both of those guys definitely should be in, in top 10 consideration for sure. But um, for, the mo for the most part, they kind of been letting me down for the most part, like in terms of the consistency. They kind of been letting me down, but for the past two weeks, they've kind of they. It's like they went switched gears. It's like they switched gears. I'm just really hoping this man AD can stay healthy. I know he has a little hip injury right now. Bam sat on a couple, a little bit of times with the hip injury. First game back was yesterday though. We looking good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, LeBron nine. I'm not gonna lie, LeBron. But for the year, I was like, bro, there's no way LeBron is a top ten player. But LeBron damn near looked better than he was last year. Like last year, he started the year off horrible. But then when it hit December, he had a crazy stretch. He got injured in, like, February? Like, so, like, from, like, December, uh, sometime in December to, like, late January, he had a crazy stretch. Then he was slowing down, like, January to, like, a little bit in February. When he got hurt, he just never really was the same when he came back. And he kind of wasn't that crazy. This year, he's looked pretty, pretty, pretty wild. He looked pretty... It's, it's pretty, it's pretty wild to see. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Um, yo, I do have bias for LeBron, though. That's, like my, that's my second favorite player of all time. So I may be, I may be glazing what, they, what the kids say. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out, Bron. I'm, he's been the best player in the Lakers this year. I've always I've said since 2020 that um, AD is the best player on the Lakers. LeBron's been the best player this year on the Lakers. It's not really. It's just really what it is. Now, this... Hey, let them cook. Now I ain't gonna lie. When I do my uh, when I do my ranking every player tier list, I think I'm gonna piss a lot of guys off because where I'm gonna put Shea, it's gonna I'm gonna make y'all niggas have them conversations y'all don't wanna have. Shea is low key on this list, not even low key on this list. I think he's too low. I think Shea's too low on this list. I think he's too low. That's all I'm gonna say. KD. Uh, KD been cool. I think Bron been better than KD this year, but I think they've been close. Um, KD may not be the age of LeBron, but for KD to come back from a torn Achilles, like I don't think people understand what we're witnessing between KD and Bron right now. Like this is crazy. What we're witnessing between these two, Bron in year twenty one. I don't know what year KD is in, but him coming back from a torn Achilles and literally losing no steps. I don't know what to tell you, gang. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Them two, boy, I ain't gonna lie, man. And the, the craziest thing is, they supposed to have been retired. They supposed to have been retired. Well, not really KD. LeBron really, like, 35 is really when you really supposed to be retired in previous time. Or not really 35, but, like, year 15 and on is, like, extra. You know what I'm saying? But if they did, if they would have moved on when they were supposed to, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, we don't really have that that real punch-it-in NBA renowned star. You know what I'm saying? USA, though. USA. You got Luka. As you, you know what I'm saying? I think he's from Slovenia or something like that. Uh, you got Jokic. That's Serbia. Uh, Giannis is like Nigerian or Greek. Uh, I guess they trying to say Embiid, but he not. Come on, nigga. <laughs> Come on, nigga. 
But yeah, shout out to Katie and Braun. Tatum. Yeah, I, I said before the year I thought Tatum was the best wing in basketball. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, I'm loopholing this shit. It's not Tatum. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, it probably is Tatum. I ain't gonna lie. It probably is Tatum. I, I can't. I, it's so much. It's only so much hate I can get off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just lie. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna do some cap. Like, Luca, that's the best wing. You know what I'm saying? He's 6'7. You know what I'm saying? But it's Tatum. You know what I'm saying? Luca a guard. He's PG. But I ain't gonna lie. Luca is 6'7. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Luca a guard, why Braun not a guard? That's all I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, I can't. It's only so much hate I can get off with Tatum. You know what I'm saying? I get to Tatum. Curry. Now, I'm not gonna lie. It's some uncomfortable conversation that needs to be had with Curry. <laughs> so all I'm going to say, a lot of y'all don't want to have those combos, but it's some uncomfortable conversations. If I gave you a PG that was bad defensively, because I know people want to say Curry's an uh, 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 average defender. He's not been average for the past two years. 2022, Curry was damn near a good defender. 2021, he was he was all right. You know what I'm saying? 2021, 2022, he was he was low-key trending upwards. The past two years, he's been trending downwards. Where last year he got worse, and this year he's gotten even worse. So I think Curry's back to being a bad defender. And Curry, a bad defender. Um, his playmaking ability is really mostly his gravity because Curry is a turnover machine. It's some uncomfortable conversations to be had about Stephen Curry. And I'm a big Curry guy, you know what I'm saying? I am. But that's all I'm going to say. It's an uncomfortable conversation. He's still top 10, though, you know what I'm saying? He is. But, hey, five, that's a little too high. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all see where I had him before the year. So y'all know how I felt about him. But I ain't going to lie. It's slipping up. Especially with the way the war is built right now. It's so, it's so what's it called? Dependent, yeah, it's so dependent on Curry, but yeah, Luca. It's no way in in this entire God's green, green earth, Luke. There's three niggas better than Luca. I've been saying this. I've been saying you niggas don't want to do it. Last year, I had to try to tell niggas Luca was number two. I try. I just was tweaking on Jokic. I ain't gonna cap. I was tweaking on him. I was tweaking. I was tripping. I was tripping. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you again. <laughs> Hear me. Make sure y'all got them motherfucking sound up. There's no way on God's green earth there's more than one nigga better than Luca. I don't care who you want to say the best nigga is. Just no Luca too. <laughs> there's no Luca too, man. There's no Luca too. I've been pushing these Lucas for a minute. That's all I'm saying. Yo, and B, and B been hooping. I mean, and B is like, come on. Like, if we doing based off the regular season only, and B probably the best player in the world. Nah, it's probably him or Giannis. It's probably him or Giannis. You ain't gonna lie. Giannis a, a regular season demon. Boy, that boy right there be going crazy. But, nah, I would probably say Embiid because Embiid is a better defender. But people don't want to talk about that. But, hey. All right, get the fuck. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I ain't think the list could get any worse. I ain't think it could get any worse. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Who made this list? Nah, who made this damn list? Who made this list? Who made this list? Who made it, bro? Nah, who made it? Who's made it? Who made this list? I gotta know. Who made this list? I have to know. Who made this damn list? Nah, you gonna tell me who the hell. Nah, I need to find him. Who made this damn list? Nah, ain't no damn way this is nah, this not this can't be a real list. Nah, who the hell made this list? Nah, who made this shit? Whoever made this list need to be put in a damn... Bro, now, there's no possible way a real human being made this list. Like, it's no way. Like, this had to be, like... This had to be all based off clickbait. Like, there's no way. Like, this had to be all for headlines. Giant at 57. Ja at 35. Jokic at 2. Man, nah, you're crazy. I wasn't mad at people, like, saying it was close before the year. But it was Jokic. Jokic is so far and away the best player in the world right now. It's not even, like, it's not close. And I know people are going to be like, but, bro, look at Jokic. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. It's so far and away he the best player on work, on earth right now. Like, bro. Like, <sighs> all right, bro. Hey. 
Y'all just like to really fall for this regular season stuff, man. I, I It's really funny. It's so funny. Y'all love to fall for this regular season stuff. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Even if you love to fall for the regular season stuff, the person that you put at number one, he has no other way he can play. He only can play with the ball in his hands. He can't play no other way. And defensively, he's not what you thought he was. He's not. Niggas was telling this nigga to go guard, niggas. He did that for a week. He got his ass back in the help position. Get your ass off that nigga. You can't guard him. I'm watching this nigga get cooked for a whole damn week. The Bucks can't win a damn game. Now them niggas mad he can win because the nigga ain't guard nobody. There's no, uh, there's literally no argument for Giannis over Jokic at this point. I would even say Embiid better. I would say Luka better. That's probably it. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably it. That's probably it. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna get too nasty with it. You know, I, I ain't gonna get that nasty. <laughs> I would, I would say shake. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that though. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't even gonna go that far. I ain't even gonna go that far. But I say it's close. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there, though. I'm going to leave it there. I know y'all don't want those conversations. But let's see. For the first time. In, okay, so they saying he was going to be the best player in the world. I ain't going to lie. Coming into the season, I ain't going to lie. I was mad. But I forgot. This was this was prediction. This was prediction. Coming into the season, I'm thinking Giannis pick and roll with Dame. He going to be able to play off the ball. I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking Giannis finna go crazy, bro. This nigga can't set a damn screen. Giannis cannot set a screen. A big man in the NBA doesn't know how to set a screen. The only screening action he know how to do is be the ball handler in a screen and roll. That's all he knows how to do. Nah. Yeah, no. Now, there's no way in hell I can put Giannis one. No way. There's no way. And even if you try to build a perfect system for Giannis to play in, he has to have the ball in his hands. It's it. That is it. That, that's the system. He has to have the ball in his hands. He has to. He has to. He can't play. All, he literally can't. The team tried everything. They were running play sets. Niggas was running screen, pick and rolls. With the damn near a top five pick and roll ball handler in the league. And he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. This, getting this new coach for Giannis Loki is so detrimental for him. Because it oh, it literally showed so much. Like, he's not nowhere near as good of a defender as nobody anybody thought. He only can really play help defense for him. And I like Giannis. Or I liked. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga blew me, bro. He blew me. The nigga got the nigga. The nigga be doing fake shit with the coach now. Did fake shit with Drew. Uh, with Drew Holiday. He did fake shit with the ball. Like this nigga just blowing my shit all over the place. Just like all is loose. It's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? He just blowing my shit left and right. Like nigga, you was you was I was in grace with you. Then when you lost the uh, series, you talking about it steps to success. Losing ass nigga, you wouldn't even have won that ring. I ain't even finna get into hating on Giannis that hard. But hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Giannis been blowing my shit. This, hey, this, uh, let's just say, long story short, Giannis been blowing my shit. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But uh, 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 y'all boys want more uh, reactions like this, just like the video. Uh, uh, subscribe if you're new. I ain't expect this list to be this damn ass. This list was obviously made for clicks, and I'm going to get my clicks too. <laughs> I'm going to get my clicks too. If you boys want more videos like this, just like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado. The boy fits him out to be mad. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Ain't gonna lie. To, hey, Gavin. It's some uncomfortable conversations to be had about Luca and Shea if you want to have them bitches. I ain't gonna lie. Because I ain't gonna lie. Luca clears Shea offensively. He clears him. But what Shea doing on defense? Now, if Luca was still the Luca from last year, you would definitely have a case for Shea to be better. But Luca a good defender now. Or not a good, but he actually at least league average. Last year, he's one of the worst defenders in the league. So, hey, man, Giddy, I ain't going to cap, man. I really, I ain't going to lie, bro. What you playing right now, I really hope that you, that you didn't do what they saying you did. I really hope you didn't do it. It's innocent until proven guilty around here. But if you get proven guilty, man, that's going to... 
it's gonna be so it's gonna be so much issues with the NBA at that point because the OKC Thunder letting him play and he was guilty. That's crazy. That's crazy. The NBA letting this nigga play. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ain't gonna lie. Wait, he already got proven innocent? How he get proven innocent? If he got proven innocent, why niggas be talking about it every day still? Wait, how he got proven innocent? Let me know. Put me on, gang. So the video was when he was 17? Ain't the bitch like 17 right now, though, gang? Ain't the bitch 17 right now? I thought they were saying, I thought the stuff that you saying is it was from two years ago when Giddy was 17 or 19. I thought they were saying Giddy was 19 when it happened and she was 15, but she was in a club and stuff. Yeah, that nigga did not get proven innocent yet, gang. I know what you talking about. They was try they still trying to figure out what age that nigga was and what age she was. I'm pretty sure she's 17 right now. And it happened two years ago. But the thing is, she supposedly got into a club where she wasn't supposed to be at. But the thing is, it's already been proven that he didn't just do something one day with her. It, no, it's already been proven that he, it wasn't just like a one day thing. The motherfucker done followed her. He had, he had followed her on TikTok and some more shit. Nigga was cool with the family and all type of shit, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. So I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's already been proven some other shit. But hey. I don't know what was going on there. We gonna keep it moving. Uh, we ain't doing no federal case study on Giddy. Hey, for for Giddy's sake or the girl's sake or I don't really know. I really just hope that none of that's true. Cause I actually liked Giddy, but if it is, man, that's 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 really sad. I ain't gonna lie. That's really just sad. Cause that's that should not have been handled like that. If that's true.